hey everyone welcome back so in last video we have seen how we can add logs to our earlier report and today we are going to add a bit small one or two details and also we can see how we can add the same logs to our console as well right so let's get right into it so first things what we have to do we have added our command or the log here right in this report.log step and this is what is adding everything in in the log right now apart from this what we can do instead of you know just adding because we are using earlier report i'll what i'll do i'll create one utility here okay first export const log i'll say add log add log in this we should pass a parameter so whatever you pass that will be logged arrow function and inside that we'll add like this add a step so what we can say here whatever you pass right with that log and after that we'll add also console.log not sorry config console.log and the same thing we can just copy paste here Correct. Now, instead of adding directly this report dot steps, we will add this add log here everywhere. So let's just keep changing wherever we have added here, and you will see the difference. And we have added in one. We have used in one more place, if I remember correctly, yesterday. So in steps and in register as well here in this place, right? So we need to import that. Let's delete this and we have to import add log add log it will automatically import here the same thing you need to do here as well this is not a best way to add here logs okay it's just an example i have showed here okay but usually you keep all your logs in your utility folder or you can keep in your page class not here so real time we don't do that here but just for an example as i was showing i have just imported here and added a log okay so yeah this is done okay and one more thing we i need to show you the change if you go to configuration file our delete directory code i think if i keep on scrolling down here in hook section delete directory is inside before session so if you keep it here sometime it deletes sometime it takes time it is creating a problem so you just cut it from here and i'm going to comment this complete section itself okay both line and i'll put in on prepare while preparing to execute or connecting session itself i'll keep this directory okay so just move that from before session to on prepare this delete directory so that you'll get a proper result in after scenario sorry after feature let's add few details so usually what happens we want to see which uh, you know browser we are running our uh, desk and which platform or which os we are running okay so and which url what is the url which environment you are you are using we can add those details add as well here in after feature okay so what you have to do you have to import it again in same way as we have done here okay so in command.ts we can import this first very similar fashion on the top of the screen okay let's add the import and come back here in this section not here after section here and we can say a reporter now this time we'll not say add a step okay report dot will not say add a step okay we until now we were using add a step if you see here right add a step now this time you have something called add environment so if you add environment it expects two uh, input parameter okay name and value key and value pair so I'll, let me add few details i'll say first which browser we are going to ex we are executing i want to log that in report so in comma and i'll say chrome as of now i'm hard coding the value maybe in later i'll show you how can you know take based on the execution it can take but as of now we are executing in chrome so it is fine report that another environment i'll add okay env url okay which environment you are running usually what happens in your real time 
you have you will have only one your application URL one or two for the same application as for this example we have used different URLs but I'll take as of now just to show you how we can add I'll take one environment data that is we are reading from here app based URL which will be based on the dev and QA it will change right so I'll just add it here okay and then let's add OS as well which OS we are trying to run add environment uh, I can say platform okay comma and to read the platform you can simply say process dot platform now it will not give you the exactly windows or linux okay or mac os uh, simply it will tell you a different options okay let me show you that what we have in platform so if this is node.js documentation process process dot platform where if you are using windows it will give you uh, you know win32 if you are using linux it will give you linux if you are using mac it will show you darwin okay so these are the possible uh, you know logs that you can generate or you can have in your report right or else you can put a fls condition here that if uh what to say process dot platform is got win 32 then log windows and all but let's just add sim uh, this this itself okay so this will add environment variable and then we have instead of just adding uh you know log to the report we'll also log our in in our console as well so all we have done is just added one extra you know function here created one extra reusable function okay and that we are using instead of using add step everywhere we are using add log right now let's take an example of any feature file so what i'll do feature and let's take the register itself npm run sorry npm test hyphen hyphen space hyphen hyphen spec okay we have seen already you know many times that how we we can target only one file I'm just doing the same not going to explain again okay so I'm just targeting this register dot feature and yeah let's execute it now first thing it will do it will delete this earlier result because we have kept in unprepare okay we got some error let's see what we did mistake register feature okay we have given an uh, incorrect path let's fix it um, yep it's supposed to be features and a spelling mistake was there so yeah that was my bad so it is trying to execute one file now and see all your uh, results is deleted now okay so yeah make sure that you change uh, the hook from uh, you know to on prepare okay to delete a directory now it is a started execution meanwhile let it execute we'll see here re result you see everything is logging in the console as well whatever is happening let me scroll see the steps is passed and let me show you if i'll maximize everything is now logging here as well whatever is happening right maximizing window loading url enter the value, this name enter selected drop down value selected visible text everything now we have in console as well now let's just generate a report and see there as well if we have the logs or not an environment variable that we have talked about trying to open the browser yep first things uh, let's just check our log is correct or not which we have already seen in the last video but just to make sure see step and this is adding the url is added similarly we have added this as well and then these other details as well right so if you see here we have a steps added and we have added this config in configuration also we have added this environment variable right this three and if you come here you'll see in previous execution this was empty now you see we have a browser is equal to chrome environment url is this and then platform is win32 as discussed right so we are able to add few more details also here environment details in which base url what is your base url what is a browser what is the platform you are running you can more details right you can you, you are it is giving a little more insight as well in the report just to make sure you are running in correct environment variable uh, this will help you always right so yeah that's what i want to share in this video uh, thank you so much